Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. Here's a quick and dirty way to make water snakes in Blender. Now, it's not the best way to do snake locomotion, but it works for certain things, so, so please keep that in mind. First, let's actually use the default cube this time and stretch it out using the scale tool by hitting shift and spacebar, then choosing scale. This gives us manipulators. Pull it out on the Y, that's the green one. Then, select the back face and hit S to scale it down a lot. This will be the snake's tail. Now hit Control R and roll the mouse wheel to get some subdivisions. Don't give it too many, but about this much is great. Next, turn on that X-ray thing at the top of the screen so we can select through the object. Turn on points, hit B for box select, and select these points. Now hit S and scale it up for the head. Then hit Shift spacebar, choose Move, and move it up. Snakes like their heads out of the water, I, I think. Then select the front face and scale it down a bit. Now it's looking like sp I mean snakes. Now add a subdivision modifier and turn up the numbers in one or two places. Make it look smooth by going to Object, Shade Smooth. Scale it down because it's huge. Now let's move the pivot of the object to the head. This makes the next few steps easier. So go up to Options, choose Origins, and slide the pivot point to the front. Make sure once it's where you want it to go back to Options and uncheck Origins or else everything's going to get messed up. Then move the snake back a few meters. Now we get to the fun part. Add in a Bezier circle and make it bigger. Now select your snake and give it a curve modifier. Choose Bezier circle as the object and it snaps to the circle. Choose deformation axis Y and now it'll chase its tail if you move the snake in the Y axis. If yours is lying on its side, you can rotate the snake up to make it heads up. Now we can make more points on your curve by hitting tab and go into edit mode. Then hitting A to select all and going to the top and choosing segments, subdivide, then choosing a number at the bottom of the screen. Now we can move the points around on the X and Y axes to make this more interesting. You can change your keyframes to like 96 and go to keyframe 1 and move your snake on the Y axis to place it where you want it. Then hit N on the keyboard to open up properties and right click for location and add in a keyframe at 1. Then move your snake on the Y axis again and keyframe it further down the path at frame 96 by right clicking and adding the keyframe. Cool, now you have a little Slytherin. If you want to make this thing move through water, add in a grid and give it a good subdivision of about 50 on the X and Y, and a size of about 48 or 50 or something. Now, add a subdivision surface to this in the modifiers. We can add a dynamic paint to this as well. It's under the Physics tab. Hit Add Canvas and change surface type to Waves. Then, select the snake and add dynamic paint to him as well. Change type to Brush and hit Add Brush. Hit Play and watch the fun begin. Position your camera somewhere nice, save your scene, and go to Cache. If it's not enabled, click something else and then click your plane again. It'll work now. Hit Bake or hit Bake All Dynamics, because we only have this one effect in our scene, and it'll save out the ripple effect. Now we can shade this. I pull up a new pane for this, so I still have my animation timeline visible. Set the new pane to Shader Editor. Change to World and add in an environment texture. Connect color to color. Load in an HDR image that you can pick up from like HDRI Haven or any other HDRI site. Change back to object and give your snake a dark color and a low roughness. Select your plane and give it a new principled shader. By now you should also make sure that you're in EV or in the render view tab. Turn the base color to black and roughness down to something really, really low. And now you see water. If your water looks blocky like mine, go to object, shade smooth and it goes away. This is great for a perfectly weatherless day, but let's add some interest to the water. Add in a bump node and connect normal to normal. Then choose texture, noise texture, and wire, fac, to height. Choose 4D and play with the scale and the Y value. We can now keyframe the Y value by right clicking on it and inserting a keyframe at 1, then change the value slightly and set another keyframe at 96. Now we have moving water with ripples too. Render it out and bam, you have snakes and water. Here's one I did with two and some crappy quick texturing. Move the camera around, give it some motion blur, and it might, might, might just pass for something. Spend more time on it and make it photorealistic if you want. Go make your own and make it better. You can do it. Just have patience and believe in yourself. Thanks.